guys, this is ToxiboseX here, and I mostly don't do one of these Minecraft videos tutorials, but I today I just feel like it. But, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Minecraft 1.8 server. Now, this is very easy, but it was since Craftbucket closed down by copyright, um, it be, everyone's been wanting a 1.8 server, but people might say, oh, we can't get in the server anymore, like a 1.8 server, you're wrong. You can still. So what you want to go do is you want to go on Google or whatever your reason and you just type in bucket GUI or you just click on that, it's just a bit slow for me or whatever on it. And then you'll be on the other side like telling what's about about it. And you just click download, then show it download again, so you click download. And now you click save file. Alright, so I'll pop up my other Um um, this is just my other test video, my test servers, I'll just download them. Now, I've only got a server folder right here, so we'll just ignore that, but I'll just make a new one. So, you might make a server folder, just call it because so I'll just call my server 1, because that's all they call server. And what you want to do is, if you want to drag this to the server 1, my the first folder, here we go. And now, I'll put, put this in the link in the description. Um, but I just click on that. Um, if we download this, you do not need to worry about it. But it does come with bucketgui.exe. But if you already got to it from the bucket website, do not drag it into the server folder. Just keep it. But um, just drag these three: the exploiter 1649.jar and the bucket GUI folder. We got plugins. And then yep. But you can put it above these, both these, onto the folder if you want. Alright, so we've done that. We're nearly done. So what you want to do is you just double click it on bucketgui.exe. You click run. Now it's a storm, just give us some more time. Just ignore it. Alright. Now we're really all done. I want to start my server, but I can't. But it will stop in soon, because I need to do something else for you guys. It will say server will be starting in 2 seconds, but then it will stop in another about 30 seconds. Or 20, I mean. But after that, it will say the server is stopping. So, I'll just show you. See, just like that. Now, if you want to like um, keep your server running, you need you when you first start your server, the your a file will pop up in your server folder called eli.txt. What you want to do is if you've got Notepad plus plus, click on that, and it will pop up this. Now you want to change this to true, and then you just click save, and now. We'll start the server. So I click start again, it will start in 10 seconds. It will just load up everything. Oh, that's loading up. I'll just go on Minecraft and see if it's working. And you just go and if you hit, if your exposure jar, you just put that in your jar file, the what jar file you've got in there. Or oh, this probably, I think I'll just have it right. And then you have to choose your Java version you're using. So like, I'm using um, GR does six times six. What did we say? Yep, I'm using that one at the moment. And yep, that's our super start. You could do all kinds of cool stuff on here. It's pretty cool. Yep, it's just loading up. Give some time. My Minecraft is pretty laggy though, probably because I'm recording. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm on 1.7.5 at the moment, so I need to go on my edit profile. And I can change it to 1.7.10 or 1.8, so I'll use 1.8. Now it's done, see? That's already loaded up.
Bojan. Oh, well, my. Someone else is going to join. That was just not the server's like going for a bit. Now, I've already got a server, so you can just like. Um. Go on the server, just call it anything. You just do local host for the server address. You don't need to do anything. And then it will say log in. It will say my name. That I've joined the server. One point is pretty laggy on Minecraft, like I gotta say. Boom, and there we go. And that's our one point eight server. Now I'll just need to up myself. I'll just go on players. And um So yeah, that's really it's easy as pie. I think you'll just get it in no time. Um, you still can get plugins, but um, yeah. Also, it's got all the new tabs as well, and um, the new remedy. Um, but you cannot use them because you'll need a plugin to use 1.8 stuff, like the new blocks and stuff like that. So I'll put the link in the description to download it. And you need to drag it to your plugins folder. It's called Carbon. I'll put in the link in the description. And yeah. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope this helped. And um, just remember to subscribe and like and comment. I hope this helped. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video. And yeah. Hope it helped a lot. It's really easy. I think you'll get in like five minutes probably. It's pretty easy. There's a few easy steps in it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.